There's this blog by a Google that is suggesting that you can record essentially PPG. Do you know why they call it APG? Right, audio. And yes, on the chart here, it looks a lot like PPG. Um, but I highly doubt you can actually do it. So if anyone can explain to me how this would work. Well, obviously, if Google said it's working, it's obviously does. Well, I mean, at least you can't ignore it. And here they explain how it actually works, but... Uh, there is no blood pressure in the eardrum, is there? Okay, so this is vibrating with sound, so they're bombarding the eardrum with some sort of noise. And looking at what's bouncing, bouncing back, how do you get anything blood circulation measurement out of it um, yes you had more more than 80 years of ppg development there are a four or five ppg locations that work um Others just don't seem to work quite well. I and mean, we tried recording PPG pretty much anywhere. Uh, so this real PPG, I mean, if it looks like that, that noisy, that's probably... Um, so you could possibly get something out of it. The other thing that is, uh, my understanding of it is normally you don't get this... Uh, Dichrotic notch uh, in it, which is a problem because uh, if you don't have it, you're essentially recording on the blood pressure, um, not systolic, diastolic, or any other uh, ECG parameters. So that could be a problem. So I have to see how they actually do it. Apparently, there's a paper. So Google Scholar. Does this have the whole? Yeah, it's hard to get the uh, full papers sometimes. Right. So this paper. Why do I have a feeling? I know it's pretty new. So this suggests that you can get a better uh, PPG, APG, would a be better signal from earbuds as opposed to a pulse a medical grade a pulse oximetry device a finger clip a, i doubt that yeah i wish could get some uh, uh, data from both simultaneously and compare the two apparently they say you don't need any hardware you just use the the noise cancelling a feature of the earbud. Have they actually tested it? Where those are those measurements just a model or is it from a human recording? I suspect. Well, I mean, they look noisy at best anyway, so they don't look anything like what they suggest over here that indicates a better signal than what you get from a standard PPG recording device. But, yeah, that would be interesting. Where's the method section? With the, the suggesting that we're recording it from patients, are they? Can we pop all that into a chat GPT, it's pretty dense. IPG mixing. Performance analysis. 
Well, anyway, this is supposedly an actual APG measurement, so someone is measuring it on himself, but you can obviously notice that, yeah, there's no dichrotic notch. It doesn't look like a quality PPG or whatever, APG, auditory PPG, essentially, whatever they call it. Yeah, I've seen something similar before. This was a dichrotic notch in that example. So they're doing some processing on it to measure the final which is ignore reflects both heart rate and blah blah. And that's looks a bit reversed as well, but that's okay because it's the timing between peaks and that dichrotic notch that is important. So they are doing some heavy processing on it, or oh, it's uh, cherry picking uh, good waveforms, and I don't even really understand how it works to begin with. But uh, yeah, worth looking again at. Look at that paper. Sometime later.